Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Is Core i3 7th Gen good for programming? Yes, the laptop built up with i3 processor do assist in coding. Though it's not that much efficient compared with i5, in the case of MATLAB, but still you can easily perform programming like C, C++, Java etc. Is i3 enough for web development? Yes definitely, programming, coding, web development whatever you want to call it doesn't require a lot of processing power. Obviously the better the machine the more enjoyable your experience will be, but an i3 is a powerful machine, and is more than suitable for web development. Is i3 enough for CSC students? Originally answered, is a i3 processor enough for a CSC engineer? No, we need at least an i5 or a quad-core processor if we have to get into multi-threaded programming, parallel processing, virtualization, data mining and data analytics. Else it will be a test of patience. Is Ryzen 3 better than i3? In general, an AMD Ryzen 3 processor is going to be better than an Intel i3 processor across the board. They have more cores, and most of their Ryzen 3 processors have two threads for every core. So, as a whole range, you'd likely be better off opting for the AMD. Is the i3 better than i5? For the most part, you'll get faster CPU performance from the Core i5 parts over Core i3. Most of the time, a true quad-core CPU will perform better than a dual-core processor, especially on multimedia tasks like video transcoding or photo editing. All Core i3 processor are dual-core. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. 